So we're about two and a half miles deep in this cave right now. We want to brake test this rope, but I have to go up it to re-rig before we can do that. I'm Adrian. We're going caving today. So I got a simple, you want the wheels to be as burnt out as possible. If you're ascending gear, the less teeth, the better. Your crawl needs to slip most of the time. And then the more ripped up you are, the better. Now for the non-standard edition caving system. Grab your canyoneering shoes, then grab your favorite big wall harness and put a D-shaped locking carabiner on here and convince your caving friends that's gonna work. Make cowtails out of extra rope at the last second. Here's your standard micro spikes that you need for your lava tubes in Hawaii. Always bring your rocky talkie.com slash how not to. And make sure you bring some elephantitis so you can't use any of this here. And don't ask what size backpack you need and buy a 60 liter. <laughs> Enter in this lava tube. We'll go down a bunch of ice, veer off an in feeder to go replace a rope, and then finish our trip at the other exit of the lava tube. So it separates us here. This ice floor makes up the ceiling of the chamber below. That chamber is about 60 feet tall. Um, so you essentially have like 60 feet of airspace underneath this ice between us and that chamber. I don't like the fact that it feels Soft. <laughs> yeah, not so bad. Oh, okay, so it doesn't get bigger. <laughs> so we're about to go through a lake of alpine water that's right about 33.2 degrees. I want to kind of stay tight so that nobody gets lost, falls in. Um, there are some deep pools that will go up to your neck. We want to kind of go around those. Oh, shit. You're right, you're right. You don't want to hang out in here. <laughs> Everything hurts. The dogs are barking. The dogs are barking. Holy shit, I'm so cold. It's wild formations from volcanic rock. It's about five hours of squeezing through shit to get to this point, which I was able to do. The question is, can I get out? If you see this episode, there's a chance I did. Or you guys edited it. <laughs> took the phone and left my body. Nice hack. I'm really glad to have some something warm. So this rope is about 40 years old and uh, I gotta climb up it before we get to know how strong it is. What's your, what's your concern with the rope? There's a small rub at the top and I just don't know how the sheath being this long in here is gonna take the abrasion. I will uh, get the bag and put it on, the, on there for you and then I will head up. So then Patrick also went up this rope and helped belay Adrian up to a higher chamber to where they could rig the rope that we brought in in a safer way to where it wasn't rubbing anything. So after about an hour or two, which is an eternity in cave years when you are cold and wet, I got to go up the new rope and see what they discovered. I had to pour boiling water from the jet boil on my toes so I could feel them again. But hopefully moving again will keep me warm. So in the Alpine, these are very rare, and this one's probably very old. So where are we right now? We are in Virgin Passage, and it looks like we're gonna go That's see that. some crazy shit. It gets big. Oh, fuck yeah! Is that the way you like your Virgin <laughs> Passages? Yeah. What's holding this rock up? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, dude. Is this what you guys live for? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is why we torture ourselves every weekend. <laughs> this is big. This is really big. This is amazing for Hawaii. Like, this is just rare. So, Ryan, you know all that tight stuff we went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we went through it. <laughs> because it does this. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Nobody's been in here. Dude, this is a big canyon. Whoa. Very big canyon. Yeah, yeah. This this would take a few trips to really map, yeah. map and go up some of the so, stuff. The reason we wanted to push this area is there's another like very large cave system it potentially connects to. And this is trending in the right direction. Is this your first virgin cave? Technically no. Sorry, you're not the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? 
that's your going passage. Yeah. It looks like an oxbow is around. Yeah. That other end heater must have been pretty substantial at one point. Yeah. I think that's a good spot to leave it. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I've waited months for this. Okay, so you were down there. Yeah, so when we first got to the top of this dome, we rigged on this lower ledge. There wasn't really any conducive spots to not have rub, so we changed it up here. That's why we have our lead-in line, um, alpine style, so you're not having any rub points. And then our Y hang, it's kind of hard to see right now, but it's all the way over here, coming down center to the pit, so you don't have any abrasion. Because this is a nine mil rope. It's nine mil, yeah. So you really can't have abrasion. Exactly. <laughs> and so Pat's almost down there now. So good news. I did not die in that cave. We took about five hours to get out of it. And I was pretty tired when we got out. But now let's find out how strong this rope is. It doesn't have the abrasion that they were concerned about because no one really went up it after it was put in in the 70s or 80s. And the water that does go down it wasn't jiggling it around for 30 40-ish years. But what I want to know is how strong an old rope is that has not seen any UV light since it was brought in that cave. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. The inside isn't as dirty as I thought it would be. The outside's still pretty dirty and I already washed it. Not too shabby. We weren't in danger as much as we thought. So the rope broke inside the knot here. And this is what this end looks like. You need to vacuum the slack snap machine now. But that's interesting that that rope was super strong enough. So the danger isn't actually going up that rope, but being that deep in a cave that's cold, and if you get hurt even a little bit, you'll freeze to death. This Saturday is the last email that you can be entered to win to get this, this is a bolt and epoxy, and you are entered to win if you open up the emails. Right now, I'm spending about 80% of my time working on stuff behind the scenes of the channel, and I am only sharing that right now in my email list. So if you want to know what we're up to, go sign up. Thanks for watching. How is it? Well, you know, squeeze. <laughs>